Welcome back everyone to Punny Plays the Champion and we are back here in Ekadagras to speak with Dagras on what he wants us to do. Greetings. If you have a moment, I have need of your assistance. During my brief stay with the deserters of Le Letou, I learned more than perhaps they hoped. While they are in hiding from the minions of Saruman the Traitor, they are still dangerous to the Grey Company. Their leader wished to use me to regain Saruman's favor. Lu, the leader of the deserters, can be found towards the rear of the encampment. He is a brash fellow, but a coward at heart. He has led his men to an end that may not bode well for them. Perhaps if Lu were to be defeated, the rest will disband and return to their homes. If nothing else, Lu's defeat may draw their attention away from the passing of the Great Company. Or it may want them to get revenge with the Great Company. Did you consider that matter? But all right, let's see what else you got. My Govanen, stay a moment and speak with me. Yes, many Dunladings were sent up from the southern regions to fight in Neregion and claim the Ring Forges. It seems that Saruman is seeking something there, though I know not what. I'm not doing the epic story, so I guess I don't know. Uh, their battle against the elves has not gone to their liking, however, and some of them have fled here to hide as deserters. These southern Dunlandines are not loved by the people of Nan Leglin, and they survive here now as little more than brigands of the wild. Their livery has some st that some still wear may be of some use to us, however. It is difficult for the men of the north to pass as Dunlanings, uh, doubly so that we are of Dunedain descent. But were we to don the livery of Saruman's army and skirt away from habitation, few would look closely enough to discern us, and we may pass through the south unmolested. So scrounge for some helms, some baldrics, some leggings, and some boots. Uh, I'll see about that, and what do you want me to do? Ah, more of those caches you want me to look for? I'll look for those later. Let me take care of this first. So let's head down, and first, let's take care of Lou. Then we can take care of these helms, baldrics, leggings, and boots. Actually, I think we could collect those as we are taking care of those Dunlandings and once we do that then we will be able to figure out where in the world am I going ah here's the right path and ooh, there's somebody there let's take care of that that woke her up Let's go! And now let's get deeper into this camp and find out where she is. Oh, forget it. Well, I'll take your helm at least. Yeah. Boy, it's leggy this morning! Oh, and a Baldrick. Well, we're gonna need a few things, so we might as well hit this place also and hopefully we can be a little bit non-laggy after that because that last fight was okay let's go let's hit yeah much much more smooth Right, that little camp there. So we should be able to get all of our little pieces of equipment that way. As we go up and head for Lu. I don't recall doing this quest all that often for some reason. Of course, usually when I come through here, I've already done Mirkwood. So, yeah, I don't do too much of N and Y generally so therefore we still need some boots and leggings because I've already got the baldrics that I need and 
There you go. Wakey, wakey. No fair sneaking around. What's interesting is I managed to see her walk across and do that despite the fact that I'm one level below her. So she wasn't particularly stealthy over there. Not at all. If you want to be a stealth scout, then yeah, you're, you're going to be a little bit more stealthy than that. I'm a champion! If I can see you, anyone could. Just saying. Oh, well, I better have a little bite to eat there. Because I've got all this food here that I made up. Z I might as well take advantage of it. There you go. And onward. And forward. And dead archers. Interrupted archers, at least. Now, Lou is way at the back of the camp, if I remember. Now, I have been through this camp before in order to get to that instance we... That instance that we did earlier. Though, I think we bypassed the area where Lou was. And... Oh, that's the boots, so I just need some leggings. Hey, do you have any leggings? And like, okay, that takes care of that quest. But we still need, let's see, that's the, that's the captain. Well, I already did that quest. It's, oh, maybe Lou is inside of that place. That's a possibility. In other words, he's the... Wait, wait, you gave me a quest that sent me into a place? I wound up fighting my way through it, doing an instance in that place, and now you're sending me back in there? Typical. Typical. Most typical, if that's the case, but we'll... Oh, no, 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 there's, there's Commander Lou right there. All right, well, let's take care of this shield bear. Then we'll take care of Lou. And that will deal with the whole thing, right? Here for your head? Did Saruman send you? Oh, here for my head. Oh, <laughs> oh but I was wondering, yeah, what did. if I didn't have my head, I would have been in trouble, wouldn't I? Well, okay, he thinks I'm here from Saruman. I guess we won't disabuse him of that little point. I'll just give him the point of, well, actually I'm giving him the bash sides of my sword, it looks like, rather than the point of the sword. But I think that'll be just as well. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, that was a close fight. I better keep tabs of that. Whee! Let me get back to camp. All right, Dagoras, I took care of Lou. Welcome and well met, my friend. And a blow well struck. With the loss of their leader, the remaining deserters are likely to... Desert? Yes, and leave us alone. Welcome and well met, my friend. Well, there are a few bloodstains here and there on these uniforms, but nothing too apparent. They should do nicely in the event we are forced to mingle closely with the Dunlendings. You're yeah, right. Now what about these caches? Some hidden medicine? Will you aid the Grey Company? Yes, there is another cache to the east of here that once you contain a number of poultices and reagents, I suspect we'll be in great need of such things before long. This cache lies more to the northeast, about 80 paces north of a boulder marked with the ranger's ruin. So 80 paces north, right? And? The Grey Company will need your aid. The spare food will come in handy, but there are other caches as well. I know of another distance to the south, one could contain a bundle of spare blades. We shall face more dangers on our way through Dunland, and the spare weapon can mark the difference. 
Oh, about 60 paces from a rune marked hill. Oh, fun. I do wonder about spare blades. Boy, they must really, really store those things well and out f out of mingling with the air and all that stuff if it's going to be unrusted after the time it's been spent there. We'll find out there if we ever do find this cache. But right now, I would like to find a Marion and see how he is doing with those wolves at the Black Dens. And going to the Black Dens? Well, how difficult should it be going there at night? Really? How bad can it be? We're starting to get close to the Black Dens and bring them more and more of these shadow wolves here. So we will have to be careful with that. So apparently there are a couple of Dunlending still around. And apparently tough there, alright. And more of these things. Seems to be a bit of a cave there where they seem to lie. So we are getting close to their dens if if we have an opening there. But now let's see if we can find this. Ah! I see quest ring! I see signs saying these are black dens. So now all we have to do is get up to the ranger and I think that's on the other side. So up around here. Yeah, this is the easy side up. Well, except for the fact that we've got a couple of snarling shadows here that have chased the ranger up the rocks. Ah, typical! Rangers! Up rocks! Well, let's save another ranger. This is going to be our motif here in, in and what, isn't it? When in doubt, save a ranger. Hello there! Uh, are you doing okay? I'm afraid that the shadow wolves caught my scent and chased me up here some hours ago. I have been hiding, biding my time in hopes that perhaps they would leave, but I have no such fortune. You realize it's night time and they really like to play around at night. Well, there is that too. Now that you have found me here, though, I think it would be best if we left swiftly before they find you as well. Alright. So let's go? Yes, let's go! Now and again, even the finest tracker may find that the tables have turned upon him and the hunter becomes the hunted. So it is with my kinsman Amarian who finds himself in a precarious position as shadow wolves stalk him in the gathering darkness. Yes, so uh, what do you want to do? I would say that we should move quickly before the wolves notice. Oh, oh, it's too late. <laughs> what a, what a surprise. Well, let's go. Uh, they shall not find us idle prey for the taking. Yeah, of course not. Let's go. Let's go. And let's blow a horn! Sound the horn! Strike the wolves! Cut the fur! And, oh, they got a corruption. I should use my anti-corruption skill, which... Oh, yes, that's right. Feral strikes is my anti-corruption skill. More come! They... I can hear their howling. Yeah, let's go. Oh, three at a time. All right, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Especially, oh, okay. There you go, that should even the odds a little bit. Yeah, that helps. Oh, wait, 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 he's got healing? Ah, oh, there may be no end to these foul apparitions. Well, on the bright side, perhaps Bragger will write a nice song about us when we're gone. <sighs> Ever the pessimist. Oh! Shadow of the Eye. What in the matter of terror is this? Fight well, or we'll... Well, don't worry, they downgraded these things down to signatures. Let's see, gathered corruption, plus 20... 
Plight on removal plus 20% incoming damage. Oh, I can do that, right? Let's remove corruption. It twenty percent incoming damage for twenty seconds. Okay. It is fallen, and there, do you hear? The dread howling has finally eased. Uh, let's not tally here. Let's go. Oh, tally here. Let's let's go. And we are back. And how did it go? Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. My thanks for your aid, Pinecut. For a little while, I was not sure I was going to make it back alive. Well, you did. Ooh, and that was a timely level. And I guessed it. He has more quests for us to do. Lots of quests for us to do. Even a cash and carry. These are all again in the Black Den. So what do we need here? We walk into danger, and we must walk alone. Our attempts to stop these shadow wolves have borne no fruits thus far. The source of their evil must lie within the caverns of the Black Dens. If you can find your way into them and destroy it, we will gain some respite from the relentless hunt. Go now, you, and may the Valar watch over you. What, after I die or something? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. What else do we have? Uh, feral shadows? Evil stirs in the shadows, and the Grey Company has need of aid. Uh, something particularly evil stalks in this corner of Inidwat. We have no idea how they came here, but the wolves of the Black Den's altogether unnatural. They look like wolves, and they seem to behave as such, but they are not mortal creatures. They are fell spirits, that stalk and hunt men. Nor are they aimless. They are seeking something. The locals say that some were seen in a region weeks ago, ranging far and wide in search of their prey. But then they left and returned here to their dens. Only when we of the Dunedain came did they emerge and resume their hunt. For us it now seems. They can be slain as any wolf might be, but with death they melt away into the shadow and the light of the moon sun. When you rescued me, I was hunting one of their kind that seemed unique, a great feral shadow that dominated the others. It was my hope that they should, that should this one be slain, then whatever power binds them here would be broken. But, as you know, I became the hunted instead, and I am still too injured to try my hand at it again. Will you take up my hunt? I cannot say what will come of it, but the passage of our brethren through Enidwythe would be considerably simple without packs of shadow wolves nipping at our flanks the whole way. So we need to get Bang of the Shadows. And the whole thing about them going south for a while, that of course was against the company of the ring because... They were attacked by wolves, and the wolves seemed to disappear into the shadows when they came up in the next morning. And also, shadows lie along our path. He you wants must me seek to pass beneath them unnoticed. He wants me to kill shadow. Now, killing shadow wolves is relatively easy at night because they can appear anywhere where wolves can, while in the daytime you have to go into the dens, into the dens in order to get them. And finally, another cash and carry. Now, I'll remove one of these and take this new one. So this one is in the Black Dens. The minions of Orthanc are growing stronger in these lands. I know a further to know a further one to the southeast. It contains scrolls of weapons lore for the elves of Rivendell long ago. The virtues of such lore might bestow upon us the weapons of the invaluable in the south, and I think that's inside the dens also. Because that's where we're going next time, into the Black Dens, in our next episode of Piney Plays The Champion.